The demand is enormous. I have never seen demand for a Bengals game anywhere close to this. Whether it's team gear at stores like Cook Sporting Goods downtown. Anything with Bengals. Anything with Bengals is, uh, is hot right now. Or actual tickets to this weekend's showdown against the Chiefs. Bengals fans are not being stingy with their cash. It blows my mind how, how many people are buying tickets and want to go to Kansas City to see this victory. Travis Jackson is with 333 Seat, which, as of this afternoon, had tickets to Sunday's game listed for anywhere from around $520 to end zone seats in the $900 range and up. A prime ticket close to the field at Arrowhead Stadium was going for $2,600 on SeatGeek, on StubHub, five grand, and more than $6,800 on Vivid Seats. Those prices made longtime Bengals fan Matt Buis and his mom think past the game. She was really about to go to Kansas City. I was trying to say a $500 nosebleed seems a little extreme. Buis did the math and convinced his mom it would be more economical to buy season tickets for next fall instead of splurging on a single game. For the price of the whole trip, we can go to every game next year. For Buis, the main reason for making that call is the makeup of this Bengals team that's fought its way to the NFL's Final Four. I'm definitely not going to miss out on the, the Joe Burrow years. Travis Jackson hears the same sentiment from fans who can't seem to get enough. I've talked to many customers this week that haven't been to a Bengals game here in Cincinnati for 5, 10, 15 years, but they're on the bandwagon. They're in love with this team. Jump on that bandwagon. That's all I can say. You know, for some fans, it's season tickets. For others, it's making that road trip to KC. I did check on some last minute flights a short time ago. Fares are going fast and a Friday through Monday flight leaving out of CVG, especially one that doesn't take a dozen hours or more coming back home on Monday can cost well over a thousand dollars. Reporting live tonight outside Paul Brown Stadium, Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5.